What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is by this big old Matco truck. And today we're gonna ask Michael some super hard questions about that color right there. Let's see if they're coming out with any more new blue tools and what all cool Matco's got. So you guys, come on. Alright guys, real quick before we kick off this Matco video this week, uh, if you guys want to join the live stream that we're going to have for the meetup, which will be next Saturday, May the 29th, be sure to go to the comment section. There'll be a pinned comment from the Diesel Medic channel. That's where all the live streams going to happen. So be sure to click that button, follow that channel. And that way for you guys that can't be here, you can still join in the fun. So get after it. Guys, this is kind of a, a little jumbled up thing. You know, we just did the intro. And as you'll see in the video uh, later, I don't know, kind of disappointed in Matco in a way. Oh, me. Smells like Florida in here. <laughs> That's right. Fresh back. <laughs> I hadn't been back that long, so. This is probably the first video that anybody will get to see because most distributors took off all week so yeah um well we we got back yesterday late afternoon i had enough time to run a few errands um this is that this morning was actually the first time i crunked my truck up and got on it uh, it's in a kind of a little bit of a mess right now uh well it ain't a little bit of a mess it's in a mess because we were in a hurry last week last friday to get off the truck to get the get to all, everything packed up to be yeah, you know we yeah. had to leave the house at two o'clock saturday morning so <laughs> we had to get everything ready um and then we got back late yesterday and i had to run a few errands of course um our kids actually got sick that saturday that we were gone oh no. um, we got a got a call or i don't remember if it was a call or text which one but i guess it was about 7 30 saturday night we'd been up there we'd ate dinner my son was actually starting to run a really high fever. And then the next thing we know, it's 103.6. And my mom and dad's having to take him to the ER. So, of course. Poor little guy. My wife, she's freaking out. Um, which, understandably, you know, I was worried as well. I knew my mom and my dad would take care of him and, you know, everything. But you're still worried about what mm -hmm. it could be. And, and so, kind of find out he had strep. And so. The doctors gave him a shot there um, the next day, which would have been Sunday. My you know, my middle daughter started getting sick. So it was just like, you know, uh oh. So we had to get home. And, everybody. Yeah, we had to get home and get everything took care of and they've still got the coughs, but they're they're not running a fever, so that was yeah. good. But uh, other than that, you know, just getting when you've been gone for a week, your house has been shut down for a week, you know, you got a lot of stuff to get get going. Mm -hmm. You don't realize how much you do daily and not even know it, but well, I'm going to ask you some hard questions today because everybody's, right. everybody's texted me and sent me messages on Instagram. It's probably been, it started Sunday and it's continued even till this morning. Everybody wants to know, is Matt Co coming out with more blue tools? I kind of had a feeling this question was going to come up. Because <laughs> man, I'm telling you, my phone has been blowing up. I'm like, guys, I don't work for Matt Co. I don't know. We gotta just hope, you know. Well, and this is and this is definitely a hard one for me. Um, I did ask, uh, and I feel like I asked, you know, the correct person and everything. But there's a lot of hesitation with the color blue. Really? Um, I've always told y'all I'd be upfront and honest, even if I didn't want to be. You know, I didn't. You know, there, the color blue, we all know is wrapped into a different tool company. Uh, pretty heavily. Cornwell. Uh, Cornwell, yeah. Um, you can say it, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they're, they, the person that I talked to feels like that it will cut into our integrity if we start going all blue. Um, I knew that was going to come up. Okay. Let, let me get this. I'm, hold on, guys. Let me walk around here. I want to see something. I think I've got something messed up. You guys go with me. Let's say we got black, 
We got white. Huh. There's red. What's that other color? There is blue out there. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I is, thought there that is, was. There is blue. I was just checking. Um, and I, I when you it. walk in the truck, every sign in here is is blue. Blue, yep. Um, but I did ask, hmm. and I'm not saying that it won't happen, um, but I definitely want you to, in the comments, vote if you would like to see blue. And, you know, I, 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 I kind of get it. Well, in can this. I ask you this question? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. This is a hard one. <laughs> if you don't want to answer it, just say I don't answer it. What other company does red and black, and they're super famous for it? Yeah. Um, well, I, I don't think I have to answer that. I'm, we all know that Snap On, right? We, we all know. So, and, and like I said, guys, you know. Don't shoot the messenger, right? Right. I, <laughs> here, here's the thing. When I first got told that, I was like, okay, I, I, okay, I understand. But as the day went on, I was like, I don't understand this. I don't understand. Well, didn't the blue ratchets like make the, the biggest splash? Well, the blue ratchets have it sold extremely real. And I can't tell you how many other ratchets I've sold just because I've been out of blue. It's like, well, I really wanted a blue one, but I need a ratchet and I want to go with y'all. Because so. here's what I know. And it's not been one guy or two guys or three guys or four guys. It's been a bunch. And if you read the comments, you'll see it in every video. I never gave Matco a chance because I knew they didn't make their own tools. And for some reason, that's a big thing to people. Yeah. Like, you know, you buy tools off a tool truck for the service, yeah. right? Regardless who builds them. They all wear out. They all break. We've covered that a million times. The guys have said the reason why I switched over to Matco and even give them a chance was because of the blue ratchets, because they listened to what the customers wanted. Yeah. So it's definitely brought business to Matco that they, I'm not going to say that they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have had as easily, I guess. Right. Because guys, I mean, think about it. If you're buying tools, do you want to buy it from a company that don't give two craps about you? Or do you want to buy it from a company that goes, okay, these guys want it. I'm going to give them a shot. Yeah. And then they all say the same thing. After I got the Matco ratchet, I loved it. And I went out and bought everyone they had. You yeah, know. like well, there's guys that don't even have Matco dealers ordering them online because they don't have a Matco dealer, but they want to support it. Yeah, and, and like I said, I don't know that it's in concrete, um, mm -hmm. but I will say there is some hesitation. Uh, well, a lot of hesitation there, um, and and you know, we voted on the blue on the on the on the comment section, and it got us that far. Um, do it again. Vote if you'd like to see blue. Uh, and you, and you may just throw out there whether you feel that it would you know do you, does going with well blue? last week we did the the stubby ratchet video yeah. and everybody there were several comments on there hey if they would put that in blue I'd buy it. every Mac, everything Matco makes yeah. in blue you know just because let's face it you know Cornwell numbers are really really low like their dealers are probably the lowest in the country you know and blue's a popular cover color I guarantee if you did a poll across the majority of the population blue would be the top you know one or two colors yeah. you know i mean well i don't get it i don't get it you know and at, like i said at first at expo i was like okay i kind of understand we don't you know we don't want to we don't want to copy another tool brand i understand that um but you've got red with snap on you've got green, green. With, with monster um well, well i mean Mo let's let's stop anymore. right there if you're talking about copying another cool company y'all already done that because y'all was the last again to come out with colors yeah right well yeah we 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 rode hard with, and, with mar uh, maroon for a long time you know so. the colors are out selling the maroon right i'm sure uh i, I don't get any number on my truck yes yeah. you know I, I can't say for a whole company what mm -hmm. does what but you know and i think that's gonna be you know it we're just gonna have to show how much we want blue um you know, be respectful about it for sure. Yeah. I mean, we don't we don't want to dog nobody. But I don't know. I ain't the smartest business guy, but if I had a store, and let's say grape soda was out selling every other drink in the store, I would make sure I had more grape soda. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, that's just me. You know, because I look at the money side of it. You know, if I'm if I'm in the business, you are selling tools. If blue pry bars would out sell red or green, or even right there with green yeah because green's a hot color 
that's that's what I want. Yeah. You know? yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna open this discussion. Let's open this discussion. Let's really talk about it. Let's dive into it, right? We all know when Matco came out with the blue ratchet, they come out with an 18 inch length lock and flex head ratchet. That one right there. We all know that's probably the least popular length, but look how well it sold. And then like probably the most requested comment was, if they come out with a 12 inch, I'd love it because that's my favorite length ratchet. So they kind of set us up for failure by coming out with the 18 inch to start with, in my opinion, but it outsold you know, I mean, way more than they thought, right? Because you guys supported it. You liked the color. You supported the channel. You supported Michael, Michael, all that stuff. You know, and it all stemmed from this ratchet. Well, then they come out with all the other sizes and different colors. Now, obviously they're having issues getting the blue color. You guys seen that when we, uh, when we went up to talk to them at the factory. But my point being in this whole video is if the most unpopular three-eighths length sold as well as it did, and then the 12 inches selling in as good as it is, and they can't even get the material to make the handles, like why would you kill one of the best selling colors? I don't know. You wanna know what's in? Black's the new chrome, baby. You see this right here? Let me tell you something. Blue, Maco blue handle. This ratchet, let me show you where it's going. I'm out. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is obviously Antron Brown, super cool dude. Matco pays him to be the face of Matco, right? He drives their car, awesome guy. Not saying anything about about Antron, super awesome dude. But read this comment right here. Notice it's made by Matco. Just throwing that out there. I guess that's why I don't get paid to run the tool company and design <laughs> colors, because I sell tools. <laughs> we would have the popular colors is what we would have. You know, if like next year, if purple was the biggest fad on the market, man, I'd have purple ratchets on here. But, I understand. Oh, well. A lot of hard questions this morning, right? So in other words, the blue's probably getting the brakes pumped on it, unless all of our people really ask for blue. To be honest with you, I don't know. And then know. it may not even happen. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to say, I don't know. I, I don't know if there is a line to make it happen. I don't know if, if it's going to happen anyway. I don't know if there's going to be like a limited edition run. I don't know. Maco blue handle. Um, I could definitely see that if blue wasn't in y'all's primary color. Maco blue handle. But like the blue is what jumps out on the side of the truck. Yeah, well, you know, I went up there. Um, with the intention on asking because I've been asked so much and I've seen it in the videos so much. Um, and even when I was posting pictures from Expo, uh, I had people comment and, you know, well, that's nice, but I don't see no blue. Matco blue handle. Um, mm. That's nice, I don't see no blue. So I asked the question um, and this person gave me their honest answer of why, you know, where the hesitation was and why there was hesitation. Um, but, you know, I can't say, you know, if you if y'all all in the comments say that you want blue, we'll get blue. I can't say that because yeah. I, 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 I don't. It definitely know. can't hurt. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would like to see just for just for me to see, you know, how much uh, people want blue because we hear a lot about blue and stuff like that. But you know, I, I don't know, you know, I don't know if it'll ever happen or if it'll happen next week. I don't know, you know, um, but. You know, it won't hurt just to see what what y'all feel about it. I feel like y'all are gonna let me know either way. So, um, <laughs> I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, it sucks to be on this side of the counter every once in a while. But, um, <laughs> well, let's change gears because I know they come out with a two S. Tell us did. about the two S. So the two S really surprised me, but it also opened the door for a lot more changes in our other boxes. So you know we. Um, I don't, I don't know how much got told on the last video because of the whole uh, mic ordeal, but we had talked about a new box coming out. We knew one was coming out, but we hadn't seen it. I had seen sneak freaks of it, pictures of it, but I'm going to tell you, when seeing the pictures, I thought, okay, they just changed the way the drawers was. That's that's all there was. Just a, yeah. There was a bigger drawer up top. Mm -hmm. I got down there, and the box has really it, it's been redefined altogether. Um, first off, they've got um, aluminum-wrapped handles. What depth is it? 
I think it's 25 is, is okay. the depth. This is supposed to be like a starter box. Okay. It's not supposed like an to be entry level. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be entry okay. level. But the thing about it is, and what I asked the the toolbox people at Maco about was, you've got your entry level that's got cooler features than your 4S, and they're like, Shh, you know, we know it's, it's going to be took care of. And it's like, mm -hmm. okay, you know, so who's to say they don't change the way the, the, the 4S is, and what will they change, and how will they change it? But, um, as far as and it's really hard to show you on this one because it's not the same as the 4s but they're they're changing on the 2s they changed the way the corners was um, which was really cool it's more of a like it's you know on the other one they had this square here right it's more of a, a come and a, it's, it's it's more straight there they also the lip on top uh, on the other 4s you had a lip here and here on the 2s there's no lip there anymore um, and the handles are actually wrapped, uh, aluminum wrapped, which is something on the 4S we've been asked constantly to have a handle kind of like this right. here. Um, now, it's not going to have all the colors. I think it's black or uh, it may be just black, um, but it looks really well. Uh, well enough that I ordered way too many of them. Um, but it looks really good with an aluminum wrapped handle, and we all knew that it would. Mm -hmm. um, but and it and it does have power um, because before we had the RX boxes that did not have power. Uh, the 2S does come with power, so it has the power up front. It has a power drawer, which I thought was really cool. Um, and then it also um, it comes in five different colors, but it also it has the availability for a top hutch too. Oh nice! Um, so. Um, it's, it's going to be a really nice box. Well, I've seen where you can get different color tops now. Well, that's that's not for that's not set in stone yet. That was oh. a would you guys do you guys think you'd sell this? Was is this something that you're interested in? Um, and 90% of the people said, yeah, we're interested. You know, because everybody wants the color option. Um, so yeah, we you know hopefully they come out with it and they say yeah we're going to do it. Uh, I think they're going to do a test run in it or something, or maybe it was just a vote to see if you'd want it. But I liked them; they were thicker. Um, and for that person that wants the different color on the box, that, that then that's going to be really well. Cool. Um, but yeah, I think that it opened the room. I, you know, when I ask about the forest, of course they can't tell me any top secrets or nothing. I when I ask about the forest, I said, look, you've got the aluminum wrap handles for one. It's totally different than what is on our 4S. It made our 4S look like it was a little behind the 2S, which it's not. Yeah. And, and, and I just got told, told to hold tight. So I feel like holding tight means there's liable to be a change with the 4S. So I think that's really good. It, you know, we, we take pride in our boxes. So the fact that we're going to change them uh, is kind of scary. But the changes that they did on the 2S worked really well. You know, the, the you know, the thought of change is kind of scary sometimes, but sometimes it's better. So, well, I got another hard question. Uh oh. Let's go with it. What about the Revel X top box? The I seen they had a two bay that was put on the internet. Yeah. But yeah. like that's old news, right? Like, what about the triple bays? I'm pretty positive that they're doing the triple bay. Uh, I can't tell you how many people said, hey. You need to walk over there. Clay would want to see it. So, uh, <laughs> like, I probably had at the least thing about it is, at least fifty Matco dealers take a picture yeah. of the the two bay and send it to me. Yeah, you know, like, I, look, thing, look, the, we're making progress. Yeah, the, the thing about it is, if it's in a two bay, I, I'm I'm almost positive it's in a three bay. Okay. They've I, from from my knowledge, and and I may have distributors text me all over the world saying I'm an idiot, but from my knowledge, if they do it in a two bay, it's automatically done in a three bay. So I'm pretty positive it's just, it's 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 they just didn't want to do a three bay for the show because yeah. Revel is a lot bit a lot more expensive, mm -hmm. so it's a little cheaper to do the two bay to have it on the floor. So I'm sure they just did the two bay because it's and we had a lot of big boxes there already. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm pretty positive that the three bays a go that they're gonna have it. Um, I will find out for sure um, and and get it working. I'll shoot it in the comments or something, get it put in there or something, but. Um, I'm almost positive it's going to be in the three base. Cool. So cool, cool, cool. So um, obviously, I'm with me just getting back. We can't bring the stuff home from Expo. You know, I can't load up a plane full of nothing but Maco tools. But um, I've got a lot coming. Um, 
a lot of stuff that's not necessarily new but it's going to be new to the truck that i found cool um but you're going to see pictures of this stuff either way so i'm going to go ahead and give you a quick rundown on some of the things that i thought was really cool um, we've got a new light from streamlight this is going to be exclusive to us uh, it's a little bit light but that sucker packs a punch like i'm really impressed with it you're going to see pictures i've got those coming um, but the big thing is everybody's talking about the max four um, because we just come out with a max three mm -hmm. why go to the max four well there when we were selling the max three the number one question that i would get is how much lock is it to the zeus well it's almost identical okay so it's got a lap scope no it doesn't have a lap scope the four's got a lap scope it automatically comes with a lap scope um not only does it automatically come with a lap scope but it also has a feature in it that will tell you how to use the lap scope so it will help you set the lap scope up because 90% mm -hmm. of the people in my area have never used the lap scope right. it's usually the last ditch effort to find out what's going on mm -hmm. you normally even if you're really good at a lap scope that's normally not your first task to go to it and say well I'm gonna use the lap scope to figure this one out because you'll over diag on most stuff so it does help you use the lap scope um, it does come with some um, back probe that way you don't have to do the nightmare of um, trying to find a close pick or, or close pin I should say or anything like that to, to get in there to where right. you can test but um, it does have several features on that to where you can do a split screen and stuff like that with a lap scope um, it's gonna have a lot more speed in, in this scanner because they upgraded it is an Android based um, scanner and because of that it's got newer technology in it it's got higher software so the memory's more the battery life's more cool. um, the speed's more um, it has a really cool feature that I always like or always I hated to have to use it but it was nice when you needed it um, whereas our other one when it did the health check it went through and it just it said you know engine ABS right. this one does it and I can't remember the name of it to save my life but it does it in the pattern of the ECMs and it does it in the list that it goes so if you've got a communication breakdown you know when you get like a an electrical issue or whether it be lightning struck you know one computer's taking out four others right and you got all these codes well this one's actually doing it in the order that it goes through them so it'll show you the breakdown that way you know to start with this computer right. and then go to this there. one I forget what the, they've got a name for that system and somebody ought to name it here but it's all and and because that's so advanced in that you know a lot of people's gonna stare at it and go what the heck is this <laughs> you can go down to the bottom and go back to the old way of doing it yeah but as far as me if if i've got multiple codes stacked let me see the order of the let's figure out the root of it yeah let's now. go to this one okay mm -hmm. this one's got an issue in it and it's setting a code and now this one Causing down here all the rest of yeah it. this one down here yeah. setting codes too but let's start with this one and mm -hmm. work our way down instead of going backwards and finding out oh well nothing's wrong with this one it's just a communication code and communication codes are pretty pretty yeah. hot and heavy and so i really like that it's also got um the one of the main things us as distributors have calls about is hey my scanner's not working so okay what's well, not it won't connect to the car oh okay well you know have you hooked it to another car no but it won't connect to this one like well okay we'll go hook to another car so they go well it connected to that one but it's not connecting to this one well then it's not the scanner yeah something's not right that's okay so we go get the scanner and come to find out nothing's wrong with the scanner it's something wrong with the obd a fuse blow or right. something well this one actually has uh i know it's probably not what they call it but it has an obd check so you click on it and it actually checks to make the, sure it's it, ha it shows where there's and, voltage and, right. and grounds and stuff like that so if you do that and you know that if it shows that the obd is right well then you know something wrong with the scanner almost never is anything wrong with the scanner mm -hmm. but this will let you go ahead as a tech and go oh wait a minute i'm not getting power to this to this pin that i need power yeah. so guess what i gotta diagnose this system so that's really cool as well um has a steering wheel holder on this one just because a lot of people what yeah, we do is we'll nice sit in it, it and, yeah the you just lay it on the steering wheel and it is it's got a bigger screen yeah uh, it's got a lot bigger screen i like that because when you start running that lab scope and you mm -hmm. do split screen on any because you can do split screen on any screen yeah that's freaking awesome to have a bigger screen um sounds like they pretty much fixed everybody's <sighs> man checked everybody's want list box on the I want one. Like I want one for the house. <laughs> like, uh, 
the, I'm, I've ordered a demo, and I'm probably going to have the demo at the house a lot of time just because it's so awesome. But, no, cool. I'm, I'm going to be loaning it out. But uh, in the line of technology, they also went ahead and – this is not, I forget the company that's doing it, but they've got a tool now called, um, it's a, like a pro assist box. So when you've got that one trouble vehicle that you just can't, you can't figure it out, you're, hip, you're beating your head on the wall, you don't know what's going on, you plug this thing in, you give a brief description of what's going on on it, and a, uh, a factory tech will actually scan the vehicle for codes or do, do whatever it needs to do. And they will actually send you like wiring diagrams to look at. They will tell you where to go, and and it don't have to be. It don't have to have a check engine light. It don't have to do this. It don't have to do that. You just write what the problem is. Hey, it's got a knocking noise driving down the road at such and such speed, and they'll come back and tell you because they've had to be a master technician with that brand for eight years to work mm -hmm. for this company. So they'll actually come back and say, Hey, this was a common problem. Check, check this. this. Yeah, you know, do good. this test. You know, oil pressure test. Check mm -hmm. this. Pull the valve cover and check this. You know, and I, I just rattling off stuff. I mean, I don't know the exact test that right. they're going to tell you to do, but That's because cool. it changes, they'll actually help you. And the cool part about it is, it's it's like three hundred dollars a month for this, and I think you have to sign up for a year. But with that, for three hundred dollars a month, it don't matter how many cars you hook to. They'll help you for three hundred dollars a month. Wow. No extra charge unless you need a, like a reflash. Mm -hmm. And you know we had the the max flash. Um, it was the the idea was right, but it wasn't exactly there. Well, this one, all the software is in that box. The only thing the company doing is basically screen sharing so that they can cool. be into it and see, and they can do the flash. Now the flashes does cost extra money. Right. And if for some reason you need a hard copy of like the codes or anything, if you need them to send you a printout of it, mm -hmm. um, that cost. But you know, if you have a scanner and you scan it and you see the codes and you print them out, well now you don't have to pay that charge because you printed them out. Now you, you've got the codes, you've tried it for three days, you can't figure nothing out, well plug that box in. And the main thing I'm hearing at every shop, hey, is there any techs hiring, any good techs? You know, is, is there anybody, I'm looking to hire techs. Is anybody right. looking? Um, good qualified techs you can take an oil changer and tell him to plug this box in and walk him through it. and tell him to call this number and they can say hey you need to check this well how do i do that we'll do this and this i they were set up on our expo floor and you know i say i worked all week i walked around looked at tools um did that till i got tired and went by the pool right no they were actually sitting on the floor taking calls from customers and they were actually highlighting on the um uh wiring diagrams where to look you can take it's got a camera on this device you can take a picture of what you're seeing and wow. they can go look at this, right this pin right here use this one you know check this pin that's cool what's right the there. voltage and they stay on the phone with you till it's done it's not like it's well hey check this 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 and call back and yeah. no they stay on the phone with you till it's that's done cool. check it and, and the thing about it is they're a factory trained technician and i know i say that and it's like well so what they have them resources that the factory techs have that's that's mm -hmm. big that's key you know so I think that's going to be a really well um, tool. So basically for $300 a month, you're going to have another tech at your shop at any yeah. time. It's a diagnostic expert. Diagnostic expert. Yeah. You're not going to hook this in to your ever check engine light that comes yeah, in. Right. I mean, you could, but I think at that point. It's going to be just, for your problem child. Yeah, it's going to be that one vehicle. Where you want to bang your head against concrete. And the thing about it is, let's think about labor rates for a minute. Mm -hmm. Most shops around here are between 50 and $110, 115 Some of the dealerships are at $130 around right. here. So let's just take average of the road and let's say $75. How many times, how many hours at $75 does it take to get to that $300? Mm -hmm. Not a lot. So if yeah. you're beating your head on the wall for two days. The oh, customer, I've had times where I'd have paid 300 bucks. Well, you're going to Just to tell me how to fix this one thing. Yeah. Well, because you're at your wit's end. And you're, you know? you're, you're going to pass that on to the customer. The customer already knows because most of the time with that, they don't took it to two other people. They don't mm -hmm. spend all this money. So for $300, they've got it diagnosed. Now, that's going to save you time. That's going to save right. you money because there's a point to where you can't charge a customer anymore. You know, if you, get, if you get 12 hours in this car, they're not going to pay 12 hours. They're, they're either going to pay it right. and never come back. Or you're going to drop your costs down and lose money yourself just mm -hmm. because you feel bad. True. You know, and 
this don't happen a whole whole lot but i have had it to where something comes in and i've had techs work on it that when i was actually in a management position and then when it would leave something was wrong and the, the truck wouldn't start and it's like what'd you do wrong i don't know and we worked on it for a week and couldn't figure it out we ended up yeah. just being a ground but if we would have called them mm, they could have had fixed it right they could have said hey this is what it requires to start this vehicle check this this and this and we could have mm -hmm. found it right away i would have paid 300 dollars just to do that right away <laughs> yeah, you know exactly you, you know for shop owners if that's happening a lot to where something happens like that a you need to get rid of that person yeah but b stop wasting so much time on it plug this box in and i know 300 dollars a month sounds high but how many times in a month do you have that vehicle that you could make really good money on because mm. nobody else could oh, yeah, it. if you used it three times in a month it would be well worth the money i'm gonna say know? On a really, really troubled child, I'm gonna say you use it one, one time. time yeah. The rest of the month, you're just, you're just, you know, that's pure profit off of it. Yeah. You know, that's true. And, instead of, because I used to sit down and have a wiring diagram as long as you know what felt like a truck sometimes, and having to use a highlighter and go, okay, I checked. <laughs> this is good from here to here, you know. And how many times did I do that and not have to check that? You that's know, true. But in my knowledge was this connector's got this many plugging into it. I gotta check, you know, power and ground. Okay, mm -hmm. well, this is a signal wire, and this, and they could have said, "Hey, check this wire. This yeah. is a common issue." Save an hour. Yeah, worth and of if chasing. it's a common issue, how many times have you if you took something to the dealership, and then it's like an hour later, and they call and you're like, "Okay, it's fixed." We got it going. And it's yeah. like, wait, what? It's like, oh, well, there's a service bulletin on that. Or those, <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, that's nice to know. But so that's really cool too. There's there's going to be a few more things um, coming out and stuff like that. I don't spoil, spoil it all for everybody. But there were some really good ideas up there, and you, you're going to see my truck for sure change. Um, cool. I'm going to have some different items on here, some different product. Um, the look of it's going to change. As far as the shells and stuff, that's not really going to change. But the stuff on the shells. Y'all doing away change. with the blue? Do what? <laughs> I said y'all doing away with the blue. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to change the stuff, uh, the way it looks on here, as far as. Uh, the product and the stuff like that. I'm gonna rotate it around, get some new stuff. So, looking forward to it. You know, Expo always gives you that kick you need. Yep. It seems like you're really motivated after Expo, and then throughout the years, you, you kind of get tired and you kind of get pick me up every year. Yeah. So, um, cool. I'm excited to see what it be. Um, we're looking forward to it. We're actually gonna go ahead and take this one off as soon as we get the two X, uh, the two S in. Um, whether or not my tools get put in it. Um, Oh, I don't want to even hear that. Don't even, I don't even want to hear that. Well, We've I heard about the box you're going to get for well, a year here, and we ain't got thing. one. It's coming off the truck. It's going to be at the house. It's coming off the truck. So. Just put your tools in it and send us a picture when we put it on the video. Um, then everybody will believe I've got to get my two S's. <laughs> I've got to get my two S's in first. But uh, I honestly think the reason that box ain't sold after talking to some of the distributors, it's not sold because of me. Uh, I don't want to push it because I want it so much, you know. It's, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's like that car that's for sale, but it's not for sale. You ever We've had that? We've always heard that. Yeah. Well. Always heard that. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. Leave your comments down here below about the Matco Blue. And also, if you guys want to join the live stream that we're going to have next Saturday at the meetup, there'll be a pin comment at the top for the Diesel Medic channel. That's the only way you're going to get to see it. Go click that button, subscribe to that channel. Hit the thumbs up on this one. Appreciate Michael being honest with us and telling us whoever's trying to kill out the blue. So you guys vote to keep it. Over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. And like always, if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. You guys have a great weekend. See you next time.